Hey guys, this is Jeremy with I Kill Orchids and I am here today. I wanted to show you just a little bit about um, my Miltoniopsis. Since this month the giveaway is for a couple of Miltoniopsis and we're going to be discussing their care and um, what we need to do to get them to rebloom. I wanted to just show you what I have done with the one that I currently have. Now this particular plant I call my husband's plant because when he picked it up and brought it to me honey we should get this one I was like you're freaking crazy and the only reason I said that is because I have heard horror stories about Miltoniopsis and them being difficult to care for and very easy to kill and nitpicky and blah 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 and um but he wanted it so I was like all right great fine we'll take it home and I'll figure out how to care for it and um, so this particular plant, I'm going to show you, I will put pictures in this video so you can see what he looked like when we got him. Um, everything that's here was there, but he was in bloom. And all of these, or most of these leaves were kind of like you would see kind of a typical Oncidium or something like that. They were, you know, they were healthy and they were green, but they had that kind of long arch to them. They weren't standing up like this and uh, quite frankly i had no idea that this is what miltoniopsis will do when they're happy um but he was in bloom we got him actually at the um atlanta botanical gardens after their annual event um, they always put their gently used orchids on sale and that's where we got him um i can show you his label if you want to see what he is, I hope you can see that because the light's not real good there. But he is Martin Orenstein Shirley P. So that's what he is. Um, but when what I decided to do after a lot of research was um, because I know that these plants are notorious for having um, tender roots, and I've had a couple people tell me to put them in, you know, the little clay balls like they use for uh, hydroponics. Um, some people say to use bark. Some people, I've heard a couple people that keep theirs in sphagnum. Um, I decided to go with water culture. And the reason why is I actually found somebody on YouTube that was having great success with Miltoniopsis in water culture. So that's what we decided to do with this particular plant. And excuse me, I have a cat in the video. <laughs> Spot. Okay, that was way too funny. <laughs> she's not supposed to be out there. No, she's not, but I didn't want to send her flying either. Anyway, I got interrupted because my cat jumped up on the table, and she's not supposed to be on the countertop, and she knows it. So, anyway, um, the lady that I was watching, she did um, full water culture, and she even did a couple of experiments where she was documenting some in full water culture and some in basically like a hydroponic type situation. And she had two plants that were identical, did them side to side and did, uh, I think one month and then six month uh, versions of what was going on. And the one that she had in water, water culture was doing much better, was doing, had a lot of active growth. And um, so after watching that and reading a little bit more about it, that's what I decided to do with this plant. So we found a jar um, for it. And let me just show you kind of what is going on with his roots here. It's just enough to keep him, you know, his, his, he's full, but not like completely packed, but he's not loose and, and gaping around in there. So he sits pretty firm. It's not, you know, I can shake it and he, he wiggles, but he doesn't fall over or anything like that. So, um, I can, the water level's about right here. I give him fresh water like dump this out and get fresh water in there about once a month. Otherwise I just top him off about every two days and let him sit here. But here's what's funny about this is, you know, I was talking about the arched roots or arched leaves and, um, within, it was less than 24 hours. All of the sudden, all of the leaves on this plant just started standing up so incredibly. And now they're like, they're very firm. I, I don't want to say like, stiff like a cattleya or a vanda or something but um they're very firm and they're they're here to stay and uh so when i saw that i was like oh well he's obviously quite happy um the other thing that started happening is you can see these new growths and there's a big one here 
there's one here there's one here and there's a little one sticking out right here these guys all came on uh, started showing up within less than a week of him going into water culture and even this one I'm trying to think they were here well I got the plant on the 12th of um, April and today is the 8th of June so you can see I mean this is a lot of growth four new growths this kind of size in less than two months so um, so far I'm really really happy with the the water culture and how this is making this plant just really happy the other thing that we do is we have him in a place where he gets a little bit of light in the morning um, through the Sun in our bedroom and um, other than that he sits literally under an AC vent because Miltoniopsis are cooler growing plants so he gets a little bit of Sun in the morning um, the rest of it is just ambient light through the rest of the day because there's no more Sun that comes directly into that room at all um, but it is just a bright room so he gets ambient light and he sits right under an AC vent and we keep our house at about 74 degrees or we keep the thermostat on 74 which keeps the bedroom anywhere between 72 and 74 degrees and he stays right under an AC vent and um, I also try to keep a fan going in the room just to keep additional air going and he's going nuts so that's my story I will keep him since we're doing Miltoniopsis I will keep him as part of our update so that you can see what's going on and how he does um, I'm very curious to see how he blooms right now he's getting um, mega thrive on his leaves once every two weeks and um, on the weeks that I don't mega thrive he's getting a little bit of fertilizer and I will show you with him how I fertilize when I'm doing the other guys as well so you can see what that looks like so that's my current Miltoniopsis and what he's doing and how he's growing like an absolute flipping weed so I hope that helps you guys uh, leave your comments or questions underneath the video there's always links under the video to our current giveaways to the website all of our social media pages check us out subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think or what questions you have talk to you later bye